My name is Russell Etling and I'm the Cultural Affairs Manager with the City of Gainesville Parks, Recreation and Cultural Affairs Department. In 1918, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting in World War I ended. My grandfather, who was a Marine on that fateful morning when the cannon fire stopped, happens to be buried here behind me in Gainesville's historic Evergreen Cemetery at the conclusion of the war to end all wars as World War I was known. November 11th became a universally recognized day of celebration. The day was later declared Armistice Day, eight years after the end of that war, but only honored veterans who fought in World War I. Then in 1954, after World War II and the Korean War, the day was renamed Veterans Day and honored all veterans who had fought for America and to protect our democracy. So today we embrace our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on, our, on the line for our lives. The men and women who did that were ordinary people until they heard the call of duty and answered it. They left behind their families, their homes, and sometimes even their lives, not for recognition or fame or the accolades they might receive today, but to protect our country and maintain our way of life. As we salute our veterans and remember their great deeds, let us also salute those who are currently fighting to protect our democracy. Thank you for honoring our veterans, and let's go forward into tomorrow, respecting their, their lives and their deeds by cherishing the great country they fought to protect. Hello, I'm Kathy McGlone, president of the Evergreen Cemetery Association of Gainesville. Evergreen Cemetery, which you see behind us, is the final resting place for over 1,100 veterans. These veterans have served during peacetime as well as in every battle from the Second Seminole War through the most recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, as we celebrate all of our veterans, we are pleased to announce that we have identified the perfect location in this historic cemetery to build a veterans memorial and have begun the fundraising efforts. This veterans memorial will be built to honor and remember all the men and women who have served. One of those women, retired Navy Commander Roxanne Tweedy, is here today. She is a native Floridian and attended nursing school in Miami. She wanted to join the Navy after graduation, but met a very nice Air Force officer, and in 1967, she joined the Air Force instead. She left the military so that she and her husband could raise their four children. But at the age of 45, she had the opportunity to rejoin the military as a nurse in the Naval Reserves. Eight months later, she was deployed to a field hospital during Operation Desert Storm. She has served in many important roles throughout her 50 plus year career. To this day, she still works as a nurse and volunteers her time with the North Marion Young Marines in Ocala. Please welcome Commander Roxanne Tweedy. Hello, I'm Roxanne Tweedy. I'm a proud retired Navy nurse. I also work as a nurse in the operating room it's my civilian job. And I'm doing the same thing, or I used to do before I retired, the same thing in the OR 
in civilian life as I did in the Navy. Nurses actually started this whole thing with the women joining the military because it was nurses who were first recruited and became part of the Navy and the Army at the time. So we have led the way for all of our other sisters to come in and join us and be in the various career fields. I have enjoyed being a part of this. I was in the Air Force for four and a half years and now I've been in the Navy. I got in the Navy because the recruiter said they needed nurses. I said, sign me up and here I am. I'm encouraging all women, all ladies, all young girls to think about being in the military. You'll get three hots and a cot, which is three hot meals and a bed, unless you're out in the desert, and then you'll be sleeping, possibly in a sleeping bag. But it's still an adventure. I've been on ships, and I've been in the desert, and I've been plenty of other places. I've enjoyed it all because we're one big family. The guys are brothers, you all are our sisters, and it's been a great, enjoyable adventure. Now, I'm also wanting you to understand and know that it's equal pay. So whatever you are making now, look around you and see the money you're making, what you're paying for insurance, and what your benefits are. In the military, you're going to get free medical care, free dental care, and if you stay in for your 20 years, you're going to get to retire. You'll get retirement pay and you get free medical care for life. So think about those benefits. It's just fantastic. One thing I advise young ladies to do, and even the young men, is to go in active duty. To get that first four or six years active duty and serve. And then if you want to make it a career, but you want to do something in the civilian life, join the reserves. Do that transition from active duty into the reserves. You can still work on your 20 years and you'll still retire and get the same benefits. But in the meantime, you can also go to school. So wherever you are in your, your college degree area, you can go to school. Uh, while you're on duty, you go to a military base. We have bases, uh, we have schools, excuse me. We have schools at every base. So when you're off duty, you can go to a class and many of the classes now, of course, are online. And you can get your full college degree. The other thing you can do, once you get your college degree, you can actually go in as an officer, get a commission as an officer. But I also want to thank everybody in the military, my brothers and my sisters who've served before me and who are serving now, and those of you that are going to serve in the future. I love and care for you deeply, and I salute all of you. Reserveman with so so dead, who never to himself has Leo. I'm the energy supply officer for Gainesville Regional Utility. I myself retired from the Navy in 2006 where I served my entire career in the submarine force. I was fortunate enough to serve as an enlisted non-commissioned officer and a commissioned naval officer during the, my 25 plus years of service. Throughout our nation's history, men and women have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our families, our friends, our allies, and turn back aggressors. I'd like to quote something from the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never knew. These words equally apply to veterans of World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and the Gulf Wars. Words also equally apply to the active duty service members, 
and tomorrow's veterans who are helping to maintain peace throughout the world. Today, it is our privilege to say thank you to all the American veterans and let you know we appreciate you for your service and honor you for your sacrifice, and especially those service veterans and their families that paid the ultimate sacrifice to defend our freedom. Today, we celebrate Americans' veterans for keeping this nation land of the free and home of the brave. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bernard Phillip. I am a board member of the Evergreen Cemetery Association of Gainesville. The association serves as an advisory board to the city of Gainesville for the historical and cultural enrichment of the entire community. This group of dedicated board members conducts programs and undertakes special projects at the historical Evergreen Cemetery. As you just learned, the association has identified a serene site inside Evergreen Cemetery for the Veterans Monument Project. This location is intended to be a place of reflection, peace, and tranquility, but also a place of patriotic celebration. Evergreen Cemetery hosts ceremonies each year on Memorial Day and Veterans Day to pay tribute to the members of our armed forces and their families. When this project is completed, these annual ceremonies and other events will be hosted at this place of honor and remembrance. Our objective in developing this monument is to remember and recognize veterans for their service on behalf of our country, honoring their contributions by providing them a special place for their eternal rest adjacent to the monument. Your gift to the Veterans Monument Project at Evergreen Cemetery will celebrate the legacy of all of our U.S. veterans. Not only will your donations help to erect this monument at Evergreen Cemetery, as well as enhance surrounding landscaping, but it will also provide for its care and maintenance. By ensuring an attractive place for families and visitors, your gift will continue to show your respect to those who served our country so unselfishly. Thank you.